Hey guys, this is Mac again. Welcome back. And thank you for joining me for part one of Three Gun Life. This is a new series that I'm doing in the year 2015 where I want to take you from the very beginning, from the moment you decide you want to start participating in Three Gun, some things that you need to think about, the gear that you need to acquire, the places you need to go to find matches, and the people that you'll meet along the way. Now hopefully if you're joining me for this series, you're a person who either has been itching to try three gun or either maybe you've already started participating in some local matches. These are just some things that I've learned along the way because believe me, I learned the hard way. And if you'll just follow me along for this 10 part series, I'll be able to take you from the very first moment that you pick up your first shotgun, rifle, or handgun for three gun, all the way until you're participating in club series matches and possibly even the three gun nation tour. So in part one of this series today, I just want to talk about some of the budget considerations that you'll have to think about when starting 3-Gun. Now, I saw a very funny picture maybe a couple of weeks ago that said, uh, thinking of trying 3-Gun, they said it would be fun. And the picture is a guy opening up his wallet and it's empty. And you know, after shooting 3-Gun for a couple of years, you get to a point where that really is true. Just like any hobby, it is a money hole and you do find yourself uh, dumping more and more money into the hobby. But a lot of people let that deter them from actually trying 3-Gun because you can try 3-Gun and go out and participate and start shooting matches without having to spend actually very much money at all. And that's because you have most of the tools for 3-Gun at home already. And also, the good thing about 3-Gun is the community is so friendly and everyone enjoys the sport so much that you can just go out to a match and many people there are more than happy to let you try out their equipment or share uh, with them. For starting up, let's just talk about the three firearms because three gun requires three guns. First off, let's talk about the AR-15 rifle which most people think of as being the centerpiece of three gun. Now I would guess that if you're interested in 3-Gun, you probably already have an AR-15 rifle. Now it may not be a competition ready model like I have here, one that I built on my own, but many people probably have at least a standard M4 clone rifle, a Colt 6920 or a Bravo Company uh, M4 pattern rifle. And those are absolutely perfect to go out and shoot 3-Gun with. You don't need uh, an AR-15 with all the bells and whistles and expensive optics and fancy triggers to go out and try 3-Gun. You can take a standard uh, $700 or $800 M4 clone AR rifle that you have at home already or perhaps even AK to be honest. I've seen uh, several people shoot AK pattern rifles in 3-Gun as well. You take that rifle, whether it has iron sights or a red dot optic, it doesn't really matter because there's divisions for everybody. Go ahead and take that rifle that you've got in your safe at home and take it out to a match and get started shooting. Now, if you don't have an AR rifle already, the next best suggestion is to find a buddy that you can shoot with and share with them. Or either go out to the match and just ask someone there if they don't mind if you use their rifle. So we'll talk about in part two a little bit more about uh, specific options uh, and optimal options for 3-Gun. But just for getting started and getting started on a budget, take the AR rifle that you already have and go out. Now for the handgun portion, this one is actually the easiest. I would bet 99.9% .9 of you that are watching this video already have a 9mm handgun at home, whether you use it for personal defense or maybe use it for competition shooting already. Doesn't matter if it's a Glock 19, Glock uh, 17, Smith & Wesson m and it could be a subcompact, compact, doesn't matter. If it's at least a 9mm handgun and you've got extra magazines for it, you can take it and shoot it in 3-gun. Now eventually, yes, you are going to progress down a pattern to where you'll buy a handgun that is more competition ready for 3-gun, and we'll talk about those further along in the series. But for handgun portion, go ahead and take that personal defense 9mm handgun that you have at home and take it out to the range. Now for most people, the shotgun is actually the most difficult part of getting started. And this is probably where you'll spend your first amount of money on 3-Gun. Now when I started, the only shotguns that I had were either over and under shotguns or field hunting shotguns because I've hunted doves and quail my whole life and also shot competitive sporting clays. So I really did not have a shotgun that was ideal 
for three gun. When you talk about shotguns that are ideal for three gun, you're typically talking about semi-automatic shotguns uh, with the ability to add an extension tube underneath the barrel. Um, and the market is actually pretty uh, full of three gun ready shotguns now. There are a lot of great budget shotguns that are coming out that you can basically pick up right off the shelf and go out and shoot a match without having to dump a lot of money into them. The way I started was I took a field grade Mossberg 930 and I built it myself. I added a magazine extension. I did a little bit of custom uh, port work and uh, had the lifter welded and I spent about another $200 getting that ready. Total investment was right around $700. Uh, in the market now you can buy a three gun ready shotgun for actually less than that. So a couple of budget options are the Mossberg 930 JM Pro, which you can pick up between five and six hundred dollars and take it straight to a match right away and start shooting. Another recently released model is the Stoger M3K. Uh, the Stoger M3000 came out a couple of years ago and many three gun shooters fell in love with it. They still had to do a little bit of modification to get it ready, but Stoger recently at SHOT Show this year released the M3K, which is their three gun ready model. And it is, again, in the budget of around five to $600, and it's competition ready. So those are two really great options to get you off the ground if you need to invest a little money. Now, if you don't wanna invest that much and you wanna shoot a pump shotgun, maybe you've got a Remington 870 at home already, those are absolutely fine for a uh, three gun. You can add an extension tube uh, by Nordic or one of the other companies that make extension tubes for the magazine and go out and shoot your first match and this is a three or four hundred dollar shotgun. The Benelli Supernova is another great pump shotgun that's pretty budget minded. So for our gun portion of the budget, we're hoping that we're getting started with an investment of maybe five hundred dollars maximum and maybe that's just on the shotgun. If you already have an AR pattern rifle and a good nine millimeter handgun at home already. Now there's more to three gun than just guns. You're also going to need ammunition, and that is a significant cost for each match that you go to, and we'll talk about those in just a minute. But you also need a very good competition belt to carry that ammunition and allow yourself to reload. And this is the area that most people don't really consider when they're starting 3-Gun. So to get started with a very rigid and very good duty quality or competition quality belt, you're going to need to invest probably between $50 and $100. Uh, a couple of the ones that not only have I tried in the past, but I also know work very well, are belts by Double Alpha, CR Speed, and then actually the belt that I'm using now, the Safari Land ELS belt. Also, you're going to need on that belt a holster for your handgun, and most of you may already have something like this at home already. There are some very budget oriented holsters for maybe 10 to 20 bucks, right on up to some very high speed. Uh, competition model holsters which are probably between 50 and 100 bucks. Also for your handgun magazines you're going to need caddies and I would suggest you have at least two or three and the ability to take them on and off your belt. You're going to spend probably 20 to 40 bucks for each one of those. Also an ability to carry an extra AR-15 magazine and I usually keep this on my back left hip. The one that I use is made by Safari Land and it cost I believe between $30 and $40. Now the biggest cost on your belt and the most important in my opinion the ability to carry shotgun shells. Shotgun caddies are probably one of the most innovative and quickly changing features of 3-Gun. There are lots of companies right now making fantastic sh shotgun shell caddies because when I got started in 3-Gun pretty much the way that people uh, loaded their shotgun was either by the single shell weak hand method or strong hand method. Now shotgun reloading has evolved in such a way that uh, the top shooters now are all quad loading and I myself have made the slow transition to quad loading. So these caddies are coming out literally every few months and they're not only very good but also quite expensive. So a couple of the companies that I think about when I think about really good shotgun shell caddies are TACCOM, Invictus Practical, and AP Customs. Now there are others and they all make good uh, shell caddies, uh, Carbon Arms as well. I, I forgot to mention them. I like to use the caddies that hold eight shells that way I can quad load or twin load right off my belt but you could also consider using 
uh, what they call a chest harness. And these have the shells that you wear right across here uh, with a strap and they're really, really fast. Now you're gonna spend at least 100 bucks on several good caddies. You need at minimum two good shell caddies. Uh, I really would suggest you have probably three and this is gonna put you closer to spending around $200 for shotgun shell caddies. Also, you're gonna need a way to keep all of these accessories mounted to your belt. And the system that I use is made by Safari Land. It's called the ELS clip system. It's really great because you leave the clips on your belt and then you can just take the accessories on and off in a couple of seconds. But another system that I've used previously is called the Tech Lock system and it also works very well as well. For ammunition for most matches, I think you're probably gonna spend at least $100 on ammunition. Usually most uh, matches will post round counts before the match, but for most matches I make sure that I have at least 200 rounds of rifle ammunition, 200 rounds of handgun ammunition, and between 100 and 150 uh, shotgun shells. And that's going to put you spending probably at least a good 100 bucks on ammunition just for each match. Now if you reload yourself, you can recoup some of that cost by picking up brass at the end of the match, but for most beginning shooters that's usually not a consideration. Now after you've acquired some equipment or either met some people that you can share equipment with and you're ready to shoot your first match, you need to know where to go, right? So the internet is a great source for this as well as some of your local shooting ranges. Uh, if you're lucky and you live closer to a bigger city, there's probably some organized ranges around town that actually host three gun matches. And if you can find their website or either call the range, Someone there should be able to give you some good information uh, on whether or not they have three gun or not. Now there are several websites that I go to frequently and usually on a daily basis to either talk about three gun or to find out about matches. Uh, the first is AR15.com which has a three gun nation specific forum and you can get to that by clicking on the three gun nation link at the very top of the page. Not only can you find local ranges there that host three gun matches but you can also find out about the three gun nation tour and all of the matches associated with that, as well as uh, firearm specific forums uh, to discuss gear and ask questions about uh, rifles, handguns, or shotguns. Uh, the second is a forum called boomershooter.com. Now I recently got turned on to this forum and I think probably it is the best shooting forum uh, to discuss tips and equipment with other co-shooters. Now it's uh, moderated and run by three gun pro shooters as well as other competitive shooters. So the information that you can get there is very good and very helpful. And the third is the Brian Enos forums. Now Brian Enos forums started out as more of a handgun competition related uh, shooting forum but they do have a multi-gun forum which is specific for three gun. And not only do they post all the pro matches but a lot of the other regional and club series matches as well. So that is a brief introduction onto what kind of startup cost you would have for starting 3-Gun and how to get started in 3-Gun on a budget because yes, you will eventually spend quite a bit of money on 3-Gun if this becomes as addictive as a, as a hobby for you as it did for me. However, uh, don't let cost deter you because you can get started in shooting 3-Gun if you make some friends and you have some uh, co-shooters that allow you to share some of their equipment you can get started without basically spending any money at all except probably for ammunition. So thanks for joining me for episode one of Three Gun Life. I hope that this episode uh, was encouraging in that even if you haven't spent a lot of money for Three Gun already and maybe you don't have all the equipment that you will need, you can at least find a match and get out there and meet some people and share some equipment with them. Uh, maybe you can actually get started shooting Three Gun by only spending enough money out of the gate just for your ammunition. And hopefully you already have some of the equipment at home that you need and maybe you just didn't realize that it was adequate for three gun. So take that rifle you've got, take that handgun that you've already got, and either borrow a shotgun or maybe use the one that you've got sitting next to your nightstand and get out and shoot a three gun match. I promise you that it's one of the most addicting things that you'll ever try and you'll be coming back for more. So be sure to join me for episode two of Three Gun Life. In that episode, we're gonna talk a little bit more about specific uh, firearm options, specific rifle, shotgun, and handgun options that are optimal for three gun. Maybe you got started with uh, a very simple handgun, uh, but maybe there are better options out there. 
and we'll talk about those. As well as uh, some recent changes to the Three Gun Nation divisions. Uh, this is a big topic of debate right now, and so we'll outline each of those divisions in a little bit greater detail so that you'll know what kind of gear maybe you need to be looking at for purchase. Thanks for joining me. If you haven't already, please subscribe to me by clicking on the bullet logo right over my left shoulder or either the subscribe link right below me. And as always, please share this video with someone else, maybe a co-shooter or someone that you think uh, might be helped by the video. You can do that by clicking the share link right below me or if you're on a mobile device, click the triangular shaped antenna button. Once again, this is Mac. Be safe out there and we'll see you next time. Thank you.